Hey guys, so I thought that I would do a sketchbook tour of this actually pretty old sketchbook. It says 2011, but it was more like 2012. I'm actually really bad about um, finishing sketchbooks, so this is one of the ones that I actually completed from start to finish. So I figured I would do like a handheld version because there's a lot of smaller stuff that might be more like worth zooming in. But this was actually just made for me by my brother-in-law who owned a uh, printing company, so he just like whipped together a little sketchbook. So without further ado. I started it off with a terrible drawing. You know, usually I've learned now um, I either leave this blank or I put like an, a quote or something. You know, you don't you don't ever want your very first thing to be like Ugh, like that. Oh, and here's Luna. Hello. <gasps> Ooh, is that sun bright? Yes. Okay. So I went through this time when I was drawing nothing but pigs. Oh, here we go. We got pigs at the movies um my sketchbooks are usually more like i was sitting at my desk at my terrible nine to five desk job and it was kind of like a journal of sorts you know like quick snippets of my day so this was a couple of days before my birthday and it's mostly there's not a whole lot of color it's usually just um ooh, rocket a rocket boot fail it's usually just a colored pencil with black ink on top, like pretty, pretty straightforward. Basically, just doodles. Um, this is where I drew about this dream that I had about this girl from high school. Um, some pizza, a little boy and a banana. Oh God, isn't that nuts? Tomorrow I will no longer be 22. Whew, I would give anything to be back to that age again. I thought I was old back then. <laughs> Um, this is my birthday, June 6th. I don't know why I drew that big mouth. Um, they had de decorated my cubicle that day. I was going to go to the gym later. For some reason that year, everybody got me bubbles for my birthday. Um, so there's a party boat, or a party yacht, I guess. Some girls for TJIF. What else is that? I should stop celebrating Friday because when I come in on Monday, I, look, I see this and then I feel like this. Belly dancing girl. Some really, really bad corn. A little school buff. A little sand castle. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Um, I guess I felt bloated that day. Uh, there's me and Justin going on a run. We started running back then, a nice little popsicle and some freaky alien looking girl. Oh, hi. It's July 11th. Do you know where your children are? Well, um, leave me a comment if you recognize these lyrics and can tell me where they're from. I'll give you a hint, it's a TV show. This is where I was talking about how I kind of get excited for fall. I'm so behind on my seasons, like, sometimes I'll just be like, I can't wait until Christmas, and I'm like, why am I thinking things like that? A little, little geek playing video games. And then a straw. That sun's pretty bright down there, huh? I'm sitting in the sun because it's nice and warm. Drew some, some campers, some Boy Scouts. Is it Friday yet? I had a canker sore that day. I don't get those anymore. I drew a pirate. Oh, I got engaged. Oh uh, yeah, so that was right after I got engaged. New York Strip Steak or New York Strip Joint. Um, I guess they named the stripper Cherry Pie, as in mathematical pie. Former mathematics department dropout, Cherry Pie knows just how to add stiletto, subtract or close, multiply her tips, and solve all your problems. Uh, Justin and I have decided to invest in an income property. Huh, two houses later. Good news, Jackie's birthday cake is finally all gone. The bad news, I ate all of it. That must have been at work. Okay, 
the misc. Little puffer fish. An elvis shark for no reason. Oh, this is where I was thinking of ideas for my wedding. We had these characters at our wedding that... This is where we were doing some con concept sketches, so... They were an owl and a pigeon, their names were Perry and Oxford, and they were the wedding colors. And they kind of like, showed up, like I like our wedding invites were like comics and... They showed up throughout the wedding, so there was like little cutouts of them all over the place. Oh, I gotta turn this one. August 13th. Oh, it's up to 2013 now, I don't know when that happened. When did that happen? Well, these are kids waiting for a bus. Back to school. Now when it's time for kids to go back back to school, I get all like, oh, I'm having feelings because like I miss I miss going back to school. Like I miss those times. And what's funny is nowadays it actually still has that same feeling. It still feels like a reset, like a beginning, a new a new beginning. So that's when we bought the house. There's a girl in a boat and a little sailor boy. Holy potato, September is a few days away. Um, houses are expensive, I think I was realizing, and that's very true. I guess it's getting closer to Halloween because I start drawing witches. Oh, nope, still August. School had just started, I guess. This is when we were moving. We put in our 60 days notice to move from Grand Island back to Buffalo. A burger UFO. Well, wait, it wasn't September. Why did I write 13 that one time? I guess it's still September 12th. Some little kids at school. I remember being in school and having a name tag on your desk the first day of classes. That was so fun and exciting. I miss elementary school and being little with no responsibilities. Uh, boy, is that the truth. Mine always had my full name with a W because my name could never fit on those things. Oh, I also like 39 minutes. I also counted down until work was over. Like this is basically just me keeping tabs on how much time I had left to sit at my desk job basically. Someone's mowing the lawn. I hope that that's not picking it up. A weed racker, that's the word. Um, this was turned into a final illustration. You can see it on my website if you go to pignet.com. This was also turned into a webcomic that I guess would be on my Facebook page, probably somewhere in an old folder. I also drew a version of this that's finalized on my website. Not that same view though. Um, I drew a really terrible dragon. That would be the first day of fall. Sassy pants. Sassy pants. Sometimes I feel like just a big shed of ears for everyone to rent into. That was some work. Oh, here's some color. The only pop of color throughout this whole thing. There's my desk again. Our office was kept very, 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 very cold. It was like the AC was always blasting, so I used to just wear thick hoodies no matter what time of year it was. This looks like a lot of writing. I drew a bagel. I was excited that it's October because I love fall. Um, I drew a cute little town. I don't know why. I don't own pants like that, but I wish I did. October 1st. Today is cold and drippy, the perfect day to stay inside, eat chili, and take a bath. It's also the perf perfect day for thick, cozy socks. 11.06 <laughs> a.m. and a half a Timmy Ho's coffee later. Oh, this was also turned into a final illustration that you can see on pignet.com if you're interested. Virginia, will you please watch the road? Yep, I reckon this day sucks. Yep. Oh, this was when I screwed up my toe at soccer. So I jammed my toe. When, when was this? Okay, so if this was 2012, four years ago, I jammed my toe at soccer and it's never been the same. I guess it was windy that day. Um, this was a brilliant idea I had for a day planner that I sketched out. Oh, and that's the end. So this is the final page. Um, that was the start of an illustration I never finished. This was a card that I drew for my best friend because she has this fear that at night when she's driving, there's ghosts in the back seat. Yeah, and that's about it. So that is one sketchbook. I have a couple more that I'm gonna share, but I'm gonna try to be a little better about drawing regularly. So hopefully I'll have some new sketchbooks to do. But that's the end and thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the comment section below. And if this is the kind of thing you like seeing, subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Your eyes look white. I see a lot of people use those Uniball white gel pens, and I don't have any of those right now. I'm gonna get some probably in the future. But for now, to do the white accents, I stole Justin's Warhammer paint and just used a little brush to just give it a little extra shine.